and the whiskey drowns and the beer chases my blues away. I don't even drink, so that doesn't make sense. Welcome, welcome. Tuesday morning, mm -hmm. Tuesday the 4th or 5th or something, September 2017. So, I was trying to get my computer set up and I realized that this bottle of root beer was right in front of my mouth and so I started singing and so then that's how this whole thing got started up. She says I'm in a crisis. She is. She's having a life crisis. I am. I guess. I guess I'm having a life crisis because I am missing two things that are not like hugely important but they're, you know, I like them. I would prefer to have them. And... It's not earth shattering or anything, but the thing that bothers me about missing anything at all, anything, is the lack of explanation. It has to be an explanation. I need they can't just an disappear. explanation. They can't just disappear into thin air. And I wasn't the one to lose them because I, well anyway, long story. So, today's National Cheese Pizza Day. It is indeed. And what goes better with any kind of pizza than root beer. So we got ourselves some organic root beer with our organic gluten-free cheese pizza. I don't think these, I don't think some of them are organic, but they all are gluten-free. Gluten so these are brazy roll. balls. These were on Shark they're Tank. They're healthy. And they're tapioca, starch, and cheese, and spices, and stuff, <coughs> and egg. And then there's, what is this one called? Amy's? No, this one's Amy's. Um, gluten-free. And we burnt it a little bit. And then there's... Something gourmet. I don't remember. We'll see if it's gourmet. We're going to have to taste it first. True story. So, I'm trying yes. to think of the name of it, but I don't know what it is. Anyway. Oh, we and also, then we have marinara, and she thinks that barbecue sauce is... I, why not? Uh, I mean, you eat pizza with barbecue sauce if it has chicken on it. If it's a buffalo-style... Chicken. Chicken. If it's a buffalo-style pizza, <laughs> then you put barbecue sauce on it. But this is not buffalo style, it's cheese with marinara. Like, why would you do that? Anyway. Whatever, it's all tomato. So, tomato, tomato. <laughs> so here we go. We're going to try, which tomato one do we want to try first? Go ahead and choose. I'm going to pick the one that looks the least appetizing. Because I know that that one has four cheeses on it. This is just, si por acaso. It's just in case. Si por acaso. Just in case. So... That's what I'm going to taste first because it looks the least delicious. Because it's burnt. Look at it. That's not why. I think it's just because it's bland. It looks bland. It looks dry. Well, most cheese pizza is bland. You sort of need some extra flavors. Well, I can imagine it would be kind of bland. These are frozen pizzas, too. Mm -hmm. So it's they like, don't have that much cheese on them. We should have gotten a cheese pizza from Mac River. They're not sponsors, so <laughs> we're not sponsoring them. No, I'm just kidding. Neither are any of these. <clears throat> nope. That would be awesome if they were, though. So, tell us your favorite pizza. Also, <clears throat> we're going to add to the debate, does pineapple go on pizza? It's sure. A, it gets heated. I know it does. I believe, personally... That there's a Hawaiian pizza, and it's delicious, and it has pineapple on it. So, mm -hmm. pineapple, to me, it's a go. No, I've had pineapple with, like, chicken. There's this one at Mac River, which are not our sponsors. This is called um, a, a Hot Hawaiian, and they put barbecue sauce on it instead of marinara sauce. And then they put... Do they put ham or chicken? I think they, it's Canadian bacon type stuff. And then, um, and then they put pineapple and, and jalapenos and Canadian bacon or ham. One, I mean, they're the same thing. So, okay. I, uh, well, which is it? Canadian bacon or ham? <laughs> I'm not trying to offend you, Canadians. I'm just saying that I can't tell the difference. So maybe it's just me. <laughs> Um, right, is Canadian bacon really from Canada, or is that just an American thing? That I we think I don't. I don't know. something like Hawaiian pizza. It's not Hawaiian. <laughs> it's because it has pineapple 
and that's tropical, so it's automatically Hawaiian. Why don't they call it Tongan pineapple or Tongan pizza? Come on. Oh, I'm they already have time. a little, what are they called? The Girl Scout cookies called Samoan, so I guess they couldn't call it a Samoan pizza. What about Tahiti pizza? What about Fijian, Fijian pizza? Or, Fijian. you know. I'm trying this one. <clears throat> gourmet kind. Okay, fine. You don't have to eat the whole piece for their enjoyment. So I'm just going to try it plain and see how it goes. This so, piece fell apart. So Speaking yeah. of pizza, there's one of my favorite characters on one of my favorite shows. Is it Love? Pizza. His name is Buster from Arthur. Arthur the Aardvark is what she's talking about. <laughs> we grew up on that show. Don't judge us. Well, we still watch it today. Are the, do the kids need to be present in order for us to watch it? No. We'll still watch it. So, can't even use that as an excuse. We just love Arthur. The brain. Francine. We love them all. Mr. Ratburn. Minky. Muffy. Priscilla. <laughs> What's your favorite? Oh, the reason why I brought that up, though, is because one time, Buster, he, they're making their This own. one's definitely better than that mm -hmm. one. This one's way better. Very much. One time, Buster, they're at school, and they go on a field trip, and they go to this ice cream place, and they get to make their own flavors, and Buster put pizzas in his, because he was just mixing all of his favorite flavors together, That's and gross. one of them was pizza. Do you remember? He's all like, candy canes, pizza. And they were just throwing it in there. So, um, and so that kind of brings me to another point that I thought that my hair kind of looked like Nadine, which is the make-believe person, make-believe friend of DW, which is Dora Winifred, which is Arthur's little sister. <laughs> <laughs> we're having an episode about our childhood <laughs> show growing up. We also okay. watched things like Ninja Turtles and... <gasps> Tom and Jerry. Speaking of pizza. Oh, yeah. Ninja Turtles. Yeah. They and, love pizza. And we watched Tom and Jerry and all they those other pizza. Tweety Bird, Looney Tunes. Type I remember of watching Tom Bonkers. Not commercials. Did he love pizza? I think he loved donuts. Because at the time, they weren't doing I'm tasting this one now. She eats excruciatingly slow all the time. They so. weren't doing the whole political correctness thing. And so, um, here is, she ate like half as much pizza as me too. Anyway. I'm going to eat um, this brazy ball. I'm pretty sure it's brazy ball. Like Brazil. That's not what she called it. Oh. On Shark Tank. Okay, fine. She watched a Shark Tank. So, um, another thing that I remember watching was hmm. Bonkers and he was a cop who was a cat and, um, like a bobcat or something. And he, uh, they weren't doing the whole political correctness thing, so I'm pretty sure he liked donuts. I like <clears throat> these. These are good. I think I like the gourmet pizza the best, honestly. Yeah, I do too. I think so. Because these ones are kind of packed with air. I like the flavor of the garlic, but I'm just like, needs more flavor. Needs more salt. Need more salt. <laughs> that is from Winnie the Pooh. Should have brought paper towels so I'm not wiping mm. my hands on the pants. I don't wipe my hands on the mouth. <laughs> I'm totally politically correct. What's your favorite food? Yeah. Tell us. Just ignore my um, crisis I'm having. It's just some missing stuff. She's getting down to the bottom of this bottle. <laughs> root beer. Yep. It's true. I think they have hard root beer now, but I've never had it. Probably. And this is definitely not because we don't drink. Yeah. So, tell us your favorite pizza. Tell us if pineapple goes on pizza. Tell, tell us, us your favorite, favorite food. Tell us what's your favorite thing to drink with pizza. Tell us your favorite cartoon. Because we'll talk about cartoons with almost every we could. All day. We yeah, could. we totally could. Some of the episodes of Arthur we've seen a couple dozen times. So, you know, you guys didn't need to know that. that. We didn't say Anyway, thank you for watching. Like, comment, subscribe to our YouTube channel. 
share mm -hmm. that deal. Yes. And may adventures be in your hearts.